Giant tomato growing is a great hobby. It's also a lot of fun. If you compete in contests, it also becomes a sport. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about what you might do to grow a big tomato. If you want to grow a really large tomato, it's important that you choose the right variety. These are a few examples of tomatoes that can give you really large tomatoes, primarily because they form fused blossoms. Irwin, Big Zac, which is the only hybrid here, this tomato has won many, many contests and is the one grown by all serious giant tomato growers. Gordon Graham's Delicious, Hungarian Oval, Giant Belgium, Brimmer, Phil's Fantastic, Oliar's German, and German Red Strawberry. These are a few of the varieties that could make you a winner. This is an example of a fused blossom. This is what you're looking for. This is what gives you the opportunity of growing a really large tomato. All of these other blossoms should be pruned off, as I'm doing now. Soil preparation is very basic to growing a large tomato. It involves some work in the fall and then again in the spring. In the fall, two inches of compost or two to four inches of ground leaves is added to your garden and then roto-tilled in to sit over the winter. In the spring, the specific planting holes are dug out using a five gallon bucket. You fill it half full of soil and half full of compost and then pour it back into the hole. This compost really helps the soil. How much you have to water is dependent on your soil. If your soil is sandy, you'll have to water more. If it has a large clay content, you'll water less. You can test your soil by sticking your finger into the ground or using a water meter. All watering should be done using a watering can so as not to get water on the leaves. This prevents disease. Plant pruning allows the energy of the plant to go into the tomato that you're growing. You can see that these plants have been pruned so that there are only two stems growing upright. One of them has been pruned off at four feet. The one with the big tomato has been allowed to continue on. When you have plants this big, it's very important that you support them properly. These plants are supported using 10 feet long pieces of one half inch rebar that are two feet into the ground. Large tomatoes really need support, otherwise they'll tear off the vine. Go ahead. Here's a tomato that grew from a fused blossom. You can see the two tomatoes fused together. The other tomato is from Big Zac, and you can see that this tomato is definitely competitive. This tomato is the result of four blossoms fusing together. If you look closely, you can actually see the four tomatoes forming one. If you do all of these things properly, you should end up with quite a few tomatoes over three pounds and some over four pounds. See you at the way off. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.